We're going to start by watching Debating Trump Fans in Person from an actual person in the chat. And I'm going to watch it as well, but I have to go uh, uh, change my t-shirt real quick. What makes you think Trump will be able to beat Biden in 2024 when he already lost to him in 2020? Well, he didn't lose to him in 2020. You don't, you don't think so? No, it was completely rigged. Biden is just a puppet anyway. It's not the real guy. Who's, who's controlling him? The White Hats. The White Hats? The White Hats. Can you define who, they, who those people are? That would be our military, our generals, and our current and sitting president of Trump. He's our commander in chief still. You think Trump is still a sitting president? Yes. You think Trump is currently making all the decisions in the country? It's nuts that there are like casually people you can find at any given Trump rally that unironically hold this position. It, it truly is wild that this is the reality here. I don't want to say about it other than holy shit, dude. Uh, it's not that wild to me. Well, it's wild to me. Yes. So would you blame the current inflation on Trump? Yes, because this is where we would have been. I'm not blaming him, but in order for everybody to actually start waking up and seeing what was going to come down the pipeline, if Hillary would have gotten in and they would have been able to do their new world order. The By the way, that's a direct line out of my book. Okay, Hassan Abihead, good, good utilization of that. Uh, of that line right there. The idea that like, if Trump is currently the president, does that actually mean that, uh, you know, the inflation is uh, his fault, his responsibility? Except I had never tested that out in the real marketplace. And it does feel like this person was so fucking psychotically stupid that she effectively countered it almost. You know what I mean? Like she wasn't, f she didn't even skip a beat. This is what we were gonna get. In the border crisis, that's also on Trump? Have you been to the border? No, have you? No. So how do we actually know if the if the wall was actually done, how are they getting in? Is it really a crisis or is it just crisis actors? Uh, I don't think there's a crisis at the border, honestly. I don't think so either. You think people are at the border? Maybe he's not, like but I like his videos regardless. Correct. This is a good video. What's not the purpose bad. of this? Maybe it's a little too contentious, though. Uh, that's the only note I would give you is that it's a little too like aggro. You, you come across a little too like debate lordy. These guys are content in and of itself. You're literally letting them own themselves anyway. It's like you know, give them the rope to hang themselves with. Uh, principle works pretty well. Catching them in little like traps, like the one you just like lock their into, is great. You can also like lean into it a little bit further. Uh, one thing you could do is in in a very nice way. You could lean into it by uh, basically saying something along the lines of like, you don't think it's good that millions of Americans are suffering as a consequence of inflation though, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is that worth it? To wake more people up. To what? To seeing- Good video overall. On socialists in a communist country, and that's not what America's about. Leave the children alone. Stay the hell out of the schools. Keep your, your drag queen shit out of the school. I'm comfortable when you were 13 with your body when you'd wake up with a woody. Chatter, how bad do they smell? This is a very serious question, especially this guy. He looks like he smelled fucking putrid. I mean, this is a unique opportunity where like, you know, we're watching a fucking video. <laughs> he said like SIGs and transphobia. Never broken so a law in my life except get a couple of, uh, well, no, I've never actually got a speeding ticket. I've got a, some warnings. We can go smoke some pot in my car if you want to break a law. Uh, not no. on your life. Damn, okay, bro, sorry. what the fuck is this? Are you trying to fuck this? Are you trying to riz up this Trump supporter? What the hell is happening? Oh my God, bro. <laughs> this country is more divided now than it was when Martin Luther King marched when I was a kid. The Civil War. <laughs> Martin Luther the King. <laughs> yeah, I see why you uh, entertained a lot uh, with her. War was something that... I like that there is a good mixture of like freaks and then also like the normie, you know, Xanax moms out there. Like this is a country club wine mom. You know what I mean? No one could do anything about because the whites, quote unquote, whites from the South are not the only ones that had slaves. Slaves are all over the world. Slaves still exist today. <laughs> do you think there's a direct effect from slavery to how black Americans are able to live today? No, I don't. They have a chance to learn. They live in the best country in the world. If they open their eyes and listen. Learn. Instead of just focusing on their little area. Bro, this is why, okay. This is why I always say like, this person is like a normal human. You know what I mean? Her opinions are so fucking gross, but like, this is what you need to understand. Like the average American citizen's mentality towards like leaning towards white supremacist ideals, like uh, black people need to individually bootstrap themselves out of like systemic racism is like the average American's attitude. And it is basically like three steps removed from full tilt, you know, 
clan robe wearing fascism okay it's wild to consider because it's such the normative position but it also simultaneously is someone that you could possibly like maybe try to convince you know what i mean but like literally she is not all that far removed from like literally being a a cross-burning clansman you know what i mean the the mentality is identical it's crazy and yet some of your parents have these kinds of opinions you know what i mean it's crazy to me she's in the fringes you can change your mind i'm just saying that it is wild that like this person probably is like a kind individual a normal individual that is like you know doesn't think that she's fucking racist or anything like that operates in society and like her ideas are quite literally not that far removed from the from the fucking cross-burning clansmen with respect to like why black people are the uh, are a way that they are i'm saying this as a as a way to get you to understand how pervasive white supremacy is in the united states of america that and people that they hang out with they would learn a lot. But from what you said, it sounds like you were born before the civil rights movement. Oh yeah. So black people couldn't buy houses in your lifetime when you were maybe a I'm baby. I'm well aware of that. You were five, so you don't think there's any downstream effect? I felt oppressed at that time. Yeah. But that's what Martin was trying to correct. Right now, I- Bro, she said Martin like they're on a first name basis, dude. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Hey, Martin, he wanted to correct it. We went on a couple dates. We see so many people living off the government handout. I'm pretty sure welfare use per capita is higher in red states than blue there's, states. There's, yes, but there's so many people living off of the government handouts. And that is not that much farther away from slavery. When they were a slave, they were given housing. Yo, I've never heard that before. That's wild. I like this. Okay. Okay, she's cooking. Okay, let mama cook. Oh my God, where mama at? Woo, shit, shit, shit. She said, welfare is like slavery because the government's giving you fucking cash handouts. No, she's not saying, guys. She's not saying wage slavery is like the same as slavery. No, you're fucking putting words into her mouth. She's trying to say that the government offering social safety nets to people is keeping them enslaved. That's what she's saying. She's actually out of her fucking mind. She's making it seem like chattel slavery is the same as like, like the government offering some minor social safety nets. I fucking love that, dude. Think food, clothing, medical care, they asked the people asked them to work. Yes, there were land or landowners that were violent and and mean to some of them, but there were others that were humanistic. Uh, yeah. Yo, I love that. Oh, come on, you gotta explore that humanistic slave ownership. How does that work? Explain that to me. What is a humanistic slave ownership uh, situation? H how do you own a human in a humanistic way? That's crazy. I have heard that one before. I've heard that. You go deep south. Uh, if you if you're white enough. Uh, like I am, you know, you'll have people tell you like, well, you know, you don't beat your tractor when you buy it, like that kind of shit straight up. Yeah. I've heard that. I've literally heard that before to defend the institution and the practice of, of chattel slavery and, uh, to, I guess, counter the narrative, the lies that slavery is bad or was bad. I think there should be no transgenders. I'm pretty sure there's only two different genders that are born and that gives two different types of sex. But even with there being two genders, that can still fit under the transgender worldview because you're just switching from generally masculine features to feminine features. A woman has uh, female reproductive organs and a male has male reproductive organs and that's about it. Do you look at people's genitals when you're figuring out whether they call them sir or ma'am? Or do you generally look at a vague set of social characteristics? Uh, you can just by walking around, you can tell by the way of their voices, you can just bring printouts next time of uh, of buck buck angel and some like uh, and you know a bunch of actually there's plenty of uh trans mask trans men uh that are super attractive trans women that are super attractive just use that like traditionally that fit in the western traditional aesthetics that doesn't mean anything passing is not the end all be all do not fucking you know get up my ass here it's always a great way to fucking eviscerate the talking points so that we can always tell motherfuckers just what's more about your morals than what's morally the right in this world so you can look at people and know if they're trans. Yeah, intersperse it with cis people to throw them off. Exactly. Gender based off their morals. A person knows if they're men or women, and that they know their morals and know if it's right. And I totally for them agree. To be honest is a big thing. Um, we're all about honesty in this country. So if they know they're a woman, generally you'll know if they're a woman just by the way they walk, the way, the way they're they're. This they sounds pro-trans to me though. So you're saying if somebody knows they're a woman 
and they walk around with features that are <laughs> looking True. like a woman, then they can be considered a woman. Uh, no. It, they, a woman, we so already went over what a woman and a male is, and I think we agreed on there that. There he is. Great video. It was actually pretty good. Have you seen this, Hassan? Oh, I know exactly what this is. Bro, this is my favorite fucking video, dude. I saw this on Twitter. Bro, this motherfucker, like, how, how he moves? Where are you moving, dog? Look at this fucking freak, dude. Function check. Thank God he did a function check. Because you don't want to be caught slipping when the ops show up. You know what I mean? And the ops are who? Like fucking teenagers, dog? Like who? Who are the ops? You're in Portland, Oregon. What is happening? Bro, he's crazy. He's like, police are bad. And then here's uh, why my trad wife, uh, trad wife homeschools are kids. Bro, if you're putting on a level three ceramic armor to get the pizza, you're fucking cooked, dude. You're cooked. A non-binary barista. Who is this man? Just the most normal Portland uh, woodworking guy. Dude, the problem is he is the op, okay? Like he thinks he's got ops. Bro, you are the op. You are a menace. If you are this fucking crazy and this scared that someone is going to kill you and you have like an entire arsenal, like why do you have an MK-18 with like the retractable fucking foldable arm? What is happening? Look at this stock. Why? Would, what point would you ever need to use this? Like on your daily fucking... Why is this your daily driver? Why? Explain this to me. It's a pistol brace, actually. Okay, shut the fuck up. Like, are you gonna do a school shooting? Like, what's happening? Are your ops at the school? Are they in the kindergarten? Why? I said, what if you just went to therapy? He had to do extra background checks, and they looked at him and said, yeah, of course, he's white. What do you mean? The brace is a loophole, which legally makes this rifle a pistol? Yeah, I, I know, I know, I, I understand. This is how the U.S. Forest Service eliminates federal agents. <laughs> Uh, they're coming after my wood shop, man. This is the type of dude who 100% believes that there was like a hydrogen car that was created and then the American government assassinated him. And he like thinks he's made the same car with wood and he's worried that like, you know, the Bureau of Land Management is going to come and kill him, okay? That's why he has all of this. He basically is, is masturbating every day to his own Waco moment. Okay. How the, How the US, US Forest Service fires a wood stove. Split your billet into three sizes. Small, medium, and large. This is the top Bro, down. why? Bro, he's got no shoes on. Yo! Are you fucking insane? Yo, the splinters? Are you fucking crazy? Put some fucking shoes on. You mean foot prisons? Bro, you're cutting wood. Are you out of your fucking mind, dude? Are you out of your fucking mind? That is literally the dumbest thing you could do. Oh my God. I used to watch the guy's YouTube videos all the time. He used to be a great homesteader tool reviewer, but the pandemic made him go fucking nuts down the prepper conservative hole. Of course it did. He says some shit about going to find a wife in Asia. His wife is white though. So he didn't even follow his own advice. Advice, it seems practice what you preach my man what is this in today's episode of tradcon lunch we actually tradcon wife wrangle star professional homeowner so you have the tradcon here what's it like being a tradcon wife well i think this is breakfast so unless i get to skip a meal today <laughs> um you know i'm just trying to make you happy i don't know anything about tradcon i just we make each other happy right well beautiful we have bacon turkey bacon yes. or organic eggs and peeled potato hash browns that's right Bread there you go. Too. What's the secret to a man's heart? Well, I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that in public, can I? <laughs> no, you can't. Yo, they're fucking so hard. You got some good tips, there though. There is a disturbing trend that has gotten traction in our cities. People are actually going to Home Depot, buying spray foam for $4.38 and filling up parking meters. Now this is absolutely despicable. Why anyone would go to Home Depot and buy spray foam for $4.38 to, to disable parking meters is beyond me. Our cities need those taxes. They need that money to keep our cities running clean and free of crime. 
and I just can't imagine why anyone would. Okay, I do like this. This is funny. No reason to fucking. I mean, I I, I suspect he hates homeless people, but like also, it's pretty funny. Like he's very clearly saying this sarcastically. Chatters. No, this guy is an anarchist, 100. This guy probably was like originally a kind, thoughtful, and as normal as you can be anarchist who turned into a fucking wing nut over the pandemic, as the chatter also mentioned. Yeah, no, this is like a, like a dying breed of old school libertarians who literally are for freedom of travel and like hate that, you know, they, they, they hate the police genuinely and they fucking genuinely hate taxes and also the age of consent laws. If I was a young person actually considering a Western white woman, I would almost demand a virgin, to be honest with you. Um, but in extraordinary- What the fuck? Yo, 20K likes, bro, I swear to God. I want to do like, um, I want to do a, a test on YouTube where like I fucking put on makeup and like, you know, hide who I am actually and just start a channel where I just say like women are whores and sluts and see how much I can fucking see how much like demand that gets. Cause I know the marketplace is so fucking horny for this dude. You write any video where you say the most unhinged shit, like just stuff that would normally get you laughed out of most like normal rooms, just stuff that would probably get you institutionalized in a normal world. You just say that on YouTube, 20K likes. 20K likes immediately. This guy said something that I think is gross, okay? He's like, if you're going after a Western white woman, you better demand she's a virgin. Normal circles, someone says that. Think about it. Think about it. In any private conversation that you're having, a guy just pops in with that. That It's over. Your relationship is dramatically different going forward. For me, at least. Like, if a person says that around me, I'm gonna be like, hold on, what? How can I bottle this, this energy and like literally have you around me at all times? Because I want to know what other kind of fucking freak ideas you have. And that's because I'm a freak. But in other circumstances, I'd be like, if someone said that, I'd be like, okay, this is an insane person. I, it's over. I will never be able to take you seriously ever again. I hear those words come out of your mouth. I'd be like, oh, dude, you're a fucking psycho. Like, I want to consume you as content, but like, I will never see you as like a real human being. Three situations, no more than two. Any more than two, I would far prefer to go down uh, to, I don't care, Southeast Asia. He said, I don't give a fuck. Well, I guess you can't rule out that he's racist. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even care any kind of Southeast Asian country. I love, like, <laughs> I legitimately don't understand why, like, you can say the most unhinged, most insane shit on YouTube and there's a market for it. Like, people fucking lose their minds over it. They're like, dude, you are speaking so many facts, sir. This is how the U.S. Forest Service finds a wife. For a traditional woman, the Philippines, um, South America, wherever, uh, Mexico, I would much prefer, I would absolutely take a wife outside of my race that had traditional values. What? Why is he saying that? Like, If Toho were to take an empty water bottle and fill it up halfway with black oil-based paint, then add a little used motor oil, and for good measure, a few pinches of sand, and then stretch a water balloon over the opening, And then lob this party favor, or let's say an occupying force. Goodness, that oil-based paint is difficult to deal with. Hard to wash off. And that oil, well, it's slippery too. And the sand, goodness, it plays havoc on face shields. Not so good for optics either. Act accordingly. The Forest Service references are because he lost his job and has gone buck wild ever since. Watch the EMP-proof hat one. Today I'll show you how to make an EMP-proof beanie to protect your noodle from all of the negative rays. You can buy this what? tape at Home Depot. It's in the HVAC department. It's used for taping ductwork together. This is better than a tin foil hat because it's more discreet and people are less likely to think that you're insane. Foil tape has a really sticky backing that sticks to pretty much any fabric, but you want to use wool because it resonates with the proper frequencies. Overlap the seams and keep adding until you completely surround the perimeter. Now you're ready to go out into the world protected from the rays. Stay grounded, beloved. Wait, there's no way this is... I think
think this clip explains the whole channel. No facial hair, not normal video. Now, I don't think this is a joke, man. I don't think he's joking here. I love that he always plays that same song too. Like no matter what he's talking about. How the U.S. Forest Service rehangs its double bit axe heads. To start with, you'll need a good Tennessee hickory handle. Vintage axe heads like this American Collins pattern will have different openings on the top and bottom. Make sure you start in the smaller opening. Fit the handle and work on the best you can. The rub marks will tell you where you need to remove and a spoke shave works the best. There's two sides to this guy. I like them both. How is he doing this like insane switch up? He's actually schizophrenic. This is the first night of me grounding my bed. Uh, this is how I implemented it. Some of you asked me to show how it was going to be set up. Why is there an Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez uh, comic book on, on his bed? I ran the tape across here and that's hooked up to a ground wire and then an alligator clip into, this is just temporary. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how it works, but grounded into the house, which goes to a, a heavy copper rod. So um, subscribe if you'd like to f hear for the results. What? My friend did this and his sleep was so good he didn't wake up. Make sure you ground your foil helmet as well. As an electrician, I would certainly advise against this. Yeah, woke electricians are out to get me, dude said this earlier i said oh fuck i forgot it's almost june these guys are gonna be extra whiny this year so remember something your first tweet was better oh yeah i said oh fuck i forgot it's almost june these guys are gonna be extra hate crimey this year that was the original tweet can you show the edited tweet i don't know how to do that yeah i said oh fuck i forgot it's almost june these guys are gonna be extra hate crimey this year and then i sent it to extra whiny i think that's better because like they are fucking whiny hate crimey implies like there's a seriousness to it board uh did a redefining tough ad i guess where it's like uh, like a pickup but it's a gay one is this ford can't tell i mean yeah ford is ford tough right it's their new ranger ford's very gay raptor redefines tough in a new generation so i just want to point something out here before we watch this fucking dumbass ad okay the pickup truck is the most popular vehicle in the united states of america okay ford f-150 in particular wait were two trucks having gay sex I'm detransitioning after this. This our flag is too ugly to continue. Jover. I mean, dude, the rainbow flag sucks. Okay, it's literally every color. Everyone knows this. It's not aesthetically pleasing. But the only reason why I don't have an issue with it is because it fucking endlessly triggers conservatives. Like they literally see it and they lose their fucking minds. They start frothing out of the mouth. They're like, oh my! They have aneurysms collectively, and it's never not funny to me. It, it is always funny. I've been reading tweets all day, laughing so hard. Ford, I will never buy another goddamn Ford, you gay fucks. <laughs> okay, have fun. Are they going to start shooting their own trucks? I hope. That'd be fucking awesome. Celebrating over 25 years of LGBTQ plus advocacy across Europe. That's funny. Why 25 years? Wonder what they were doing before then. Not America though. Yeah. Pedal to paper. Happy drawing day. Oh God, I fucking love this car. Just saw our commercial advertising your homosexual pickup. Your trucks are already junk, so you load them up with perverts now. That's why I drive a GMC. <clears throat> Do they come with a chapstick? Henry would fire all of you if you were alive. <laughs> Henry. My man's on a first name basis with a fascist, dude. Love that. Also, he didn't even say lipstick. He said chapstick. Like, fellas, is not wanting your lips to fucking have uh, bruises on them gay or what? Fellas, moisture on the lips? Uh, who are you trying to be moist for? Dicks in your mouth? Pretty sus. <laughs> Ladies, if your man's lips aren't cracked and bleeding, your man is a woman. <laughs> I know you know, but yeah, that was gay as fuck in 2013. Yeah, back when like people were saying, if you're metrosexual. Back when we invented a new name for men who didn't want to be called gay, who washed themselves. Because that's what metrosexual is. If you're a guy who takes regular fucking showers, but like doesn't want to suck a cock, 
You were called a metrosexual. It's so fucking stupid, dude. God, we are such a... How the fuck are we alive, honestly? If it wasn't for, like, collectivism, humanity would have died a long fucking time ago. So, yeah, we're at the uh, I'm angry at uh, conservatives uh, point again. A giant government corporate cyborg vomiting rainbows on a human face forever. Ben Shapiro is very triggered, by the way. I want to see where the fuck... He said a bunch of other shit. Hold on. Ford has released its new LGBTQI... What? 2S plus truck dub, very gay rap. There's a part of his new advertising campaign. In 2021, Ford responded to an internet troll with a strong statement against homophobia, creating a rainbow and glittery gold wrap truck that paraded the streets of Cologne, Germany to celebrate Pride Day. It is not a part of a new advertising campaign. Oh my God, they're, they're getting prepared for June, man. They're getting fucking ready for June. That's what this is. Subaru Sandbar, only used by businesses to move stuff. 90% as much truck bed length as Ford F-150. Fuel efficient and doesn't destroy roads. As opposed to Ford F-150 used by soccer moms to send kids to school. Cannot see anyone shorter than one 1.3 meters tall, 1.8 meters after lifting. Available as a Shelby, edi Shelby edition with a 775 horsepower and 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds. Yeah, but that's cool though. Yeah, I'm too much of an Amerabu to like shit on trucks that much. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a real, I I'm gonna keep it a buck 50. I, I do love me some trucks. I'm surprised your big ass doesn't drive a truck. Uh, huh? Never say never. I used to, I had a, I had a Bronco for like a day and it broke. Bought it off of like a, like a Polish auto dealership who may or may not have been mafia related in New Jersey. And then immediately had to give it back because it literally broke in one day in the middle of a, a fucking massive uh, blizzard in New Jersey. If you could take it back, it wasn't mob related law. You know what? Maybe you're right. 